When we started Made In, we thought the big thing that was missing in the kitchen tool space was that people really didn't care about kitchen tools. Customers would go and they'd spend $30 sourcing beautiful grass-fed steaks from Whole Foods and they cared about the fact that it was a local rancher and it had no antibiotics and it was certified organic. And then they'd come home and cook it on a nonstick pan that scratched and ruined all that effort. For us, the challenge was we need to get people to care about cookware in the same way they care about the ingredients and have that same emotional attachment. And the way we approached Made In was to go find people who had devoted their lives to creating top quality products and tell their stories and make products with them. We make stainless clad cookware, chef's knives, carbon steel cookware. We go towards mediums that we can tell our stories, away from display ads, out of home, billboards, and more towards TV, podcast. When we work with a supplier and we decide we're going to enter into a new product line, it's a requirement in our negotiation that we can bring in a full video crew. We film the process from start to finish. We interview people who, a lot of times, like it's a grandmother, a uh, son, and like their grandson all working in the exact same factory that they've been doing it for hundreds of years. Our carbon steel pan passes through literally 150 years of generational expertise before going out the door. So we want to tell those stories and we want our customers to have the visibility into how much people care about what they're producing. We do have a competitive advantage in content. We have an internal team. Creation of content was in our DNA from day one. The best thing that someone at our stage can do is have a network around you of similar brands who inevitably are gonna go through the same struggles as you. The direct consumer movement in general, is it's been a very pay it forward movement. There's brands who are two years above us telling us what they've learned two years ahead of when we get there to help us through those roadblocks. And then we pay it forward to people who are just starting their companies now. I actually started banking on Wall Street and then went as far away from what I'm doing now as possible, selling pots and pans online. If you track my career progress, my emotional attachment to it has been zero to 100.